What is up guys, Mr. Willem Thor here. In this video, I'll be showing you the new Fluent Design update for the Xbox One, available for some preview members in the preview program, and hopefully available to the general public in November when the Xbox One X releases. But anyways, as you can see, the Fluent Design definitely looks a little different, and this hopefully will be something that all the Windows 10 devices will have very soon. But anyways, here in the Home tab, it's where most things changed. Uh, either here or the guide, I would say that's basically where everything changed. But anyways, let's get into it. So here you can see that there are four kind of rectangle looking things. And I'm not sure if I'm a fan the way it looks. Hopefully they will change it a little bit. But anyways, here's the most recent app or game that you used. And you still have the options. So if you have, if you want to pin it or manage it, you still have the options there. And then you have... Uh, suggested clubs or suggested friends stuff like that will appear here or tips from Xbox Live uh, then you have as you can see another tip uh, you can see here for example games that are downloading or installing or advertisements so big savings on Rockstar games unfortunately this is not customizable so I cannot delete this so if I don't want to see advertisements from the store I cannot remove this unfortunately but definitely uh, I think they will most likely have a more customizable option because of what's what I will show you next. But anyways, here in my games and apps, there is a different row here going on. So you can see here the three most recent used apps or games. You have two more advertisements, so either deals with gold or join gold because this is a brand new account, so I don't have gold or a uh, advertisement from the store once again. So. In the main area, you have, once again, three ads, which I'm not a fan of it. Then here, we have a new look of the home section. And this is where the customization comes in. So let's say you have a friend that you want to follow very closely. Well, you can do so by having him on the dashboard. So you can add to home. Uh, let's say I want to add to home Mad Max, for example. I can add to home and it will, it will appear in the dashboard uh, right here. So let me go first to Evil Zombie, for example, which is a friend of mine. So you can send a message, invite to party, and see what he's up to, even though it says one year ago, but oh well, I guess it will refresh. It's just kind of new, so, but I'm pretty sure if he was playing a game, he would let me join his game straight away. So let me actually delete this block as I don't want it, for example. Um, but Let's say I want to follow Mad Max very closely to see what the developers are doing, even though this game is not going to be updated anymore. But this is an example. So you can see here the rarest achievements uh, that the community has the most difficulty on unlocking. You can see clips, you can see screenshots, suggested clubs, etc. So it's definitely very interesting. And of course, if a game the, that has a lot of people playing it, you'll most likely be able to join your friends straight away from here. So that will be very cool. Uh, once again, I can just edit block and I can delete it and that's gone. So if you're a minimalist, you definitely can make it so in this uh, dashboard, I can guarantee you. So here you have the pins and they are not gone. If you want to, once again, you can edit and delete, but it's still here and it's very good. Now, once you update your console for the first time, you'll have this, all these different sections here where you can delete them all. I'm actually hovering the option to delete where you can delete them all if you do not wish to have that. So let's go back to uh, the main area and let's actually bring in Mad Max. Let's actually put in the game so I can show you the new look of the guide. It has definitely a different look. So let's pull it up. Here you can see the new guide different looks but way more smooth and way faster let's see you can literally switch all the tabs or different sections very fast so let's start from the left so sign in area you can uh, click on my profile and have opens a different page which is very cool i like it and then you can switch profiles sign out add new and add guests let's go back to the achievements so you have the achievement list, gamer score leaderboard, see my achievements, and turn achievement tracker on. Multiplayer, startup party, looking for group, and tournaments. People, you can have the friends here, clubs, suggested friends, join a club, find someone, and recent players. 
the home it's where I feel like it's very fast look at this I can just literally bring my pins instantly or for example if I want to go to my games and apps I can do so instantly pretty much so as you can see the my games and apps has a different look nothing really changed it's just the fluent design starting to actually pop up which is very good in my opinion so I think the options are still here add to home exactly so that's very cool uh, the app section it loads pretty fast the memberships ready to install and updates and queue so let's go back here to the game so we can keep showing you the the guide so messages so you can see communication conversations new conversations and the messages from xbox live the broadcast and capture section where you have the broadcast capture recent captures and advanced settings if you want to change your audio in the action center you have the all settings uh, system app notifications, turn off console, restart console options. If you have uh, background music, in, you can still edit the volume in here. If you have a, a headset plugged in, you can still change the audio. So if you want the party to be uh, louder than the game, you can do that so here in the action center. But let's go back to the home section. And let's go, for example, let's actually quit the game. But let's go to... Uh, the game hub here's where not too much changed but here's where things will definitely change very soon they will definitely start to add more options in the game club you can add to home straight away you have the progress here so the achievements and the stats uh, are still here um, the multiplayer unfortunately this game has no multiplayer uh, social you can f you can see friends and clubs activity feed and the watch tab so as i said they did not change much but they will definitely add more options and more sections to it very soon so the mixer is still about the same unfortunately it's still not customizable so let's say i don't want to have the community tab i cannot delete it yet so hopefully they will implement that feature so the community changed quite a bit as you can notice right away here you will see more feed to it you know, there's definitely more stuff going on. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of it. It just seems a little bit uh, rushed, in my opinion. Not really a fan, but there is definitely a lot of of uh, stuff going on here. You can s definitely see here news from games, uh, news from the, the Xbox, uh, shared activity from you know video clips and stuff like that. So it's about the same. You still you can still select here. Let me just show you in the preferences. It's still here. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have the new look, but it's still there, the option, nonetheless. The entertainment tab is exactly the same. And the store, unfortunately, they didn't really change much. They will, of course, keep updating it, but it doesn't seem they will change much this year. So, I think right now the focus is the main area, so the home and the guide. Make sure that it's fast, and then they will most likely improve the store in the near future so it definitely has the design the new design the fluent design but it just they didn't add too much options and it doesn't seem that much faster so i'm not sure when they will update it but hopefully very very soon so let's actually quit the store and let me show you a feature that i'm following love because i think this will be very interesting in the future so in the future so let's go to settings and let's go to system. If you go to storage, you can now actually, if you click transfer, you can now actually transfer all your games from one device to another. So from one hard drive to another. So let's say right now I have the external hard drive. I can select all and move selected to the internal because I do not have enough space in the internal. Let me actually just select, for example, two games, move selected, you can select it and move it to internal. So let me actually just do a quick test of, uh, let's see here, the community community calendar and the crackle movies and TV. And let me move selected uh, to the internal. Yes. So let's go back to home. And um, let's see what happens. It's a little bit slow I guess let's go to my games and apps so here it is in queue right away 
and it should start transferring. So that's probably one of the best features I would say they implemented within this update. It's definitely uh, lagging a little bit. Uh, so let me go back to home. Yeah, let me, okay, okay. So it's kind of uh, definitely crashed a little bit right there. Uh, let me re, okay. So as you can see, it actually appears here the community calendar moving to the in internal hard drive. So that's very cool. Or if you're updating a game or downloading a game or app, it will show you here, which is very good. Unfortunately, I can't pause straight away from here. I wish they would add that feature, but they did not have it. So, but anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this new look of the Fluent Design update. It will be, as I said, available very soon. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video.